Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. Yes, it is Monday, the 23rd of March. <clears throat> and I'm going to invite some people in. And uh, good morning, Allison. So I hope everyone's doing well. Good morning, Mom. So we're going to go into... Uh, good morning, Ronnie. Lamentations 357 is where we're going today. But I'm going to start out with a story story early this morning and uh, good morning Sherry young boy having a nightmare in the middle of the night screams for his parents not talking about myself I was a big kid never screamed for my parents just kidding I did but this is not me cried for his parents parents ran in asked him what was wrong had a nightmare They cuddled him, put him back to sleep, asked him to go back to sleep. He was fine. Had another nightmare. Parents came back in, decided to pray with him. He was fine. See, that, when I read this verse, I thought about that, that scenario because too many times uh, people have fear or nightmares uh, like that. Lamentations, this is what it says, says, yes, you come when I called. You told me, do not fear. When the girls were younger, uh, we lived in uh, Illinois, and they both had uh, nightmares quite a bit. And they didn't call, but they couldn't sleep. And so we, we bought these iPad, iPods, um, and we loaded them up with praise and worship. And we prayed with them every night. And they would listen to praise and worship throughout the night. And, and I began to read this verse this morning. And I just began to think uh, fear. And then I began to think about what's going on now. And, and somehow, literally in these encouraging morning devotionals, it might come to what's going on now. It's the hot topic right now. And I don't mean to bring it up continuously, but I think it's going to happen. But I think it, what is pertinent is to encourage you, um, you can call on God anytime and he'll be there. Um, but I also have learned that in the midst, throw some praise and worship on and call the hymn and pray and know that he's always there he'll never leave you nor forsake you he'll get you through these hard and difficult times these these questionable times these weird times um, do not fear because he's right there and he'll get you through um, last night I talked from Psalms 46 in church last night, and you can go on my webpage and check that service out. I talked from 46, one through three, where it talks about um, he's our refuge. God is our refuge and strength. And literally, what a refuge is, is a hiding place, a place of security, a place, and I'm tying this together, that when we're in fear, when we're in worry, when we're uh, needing a place to go. God. But you know what? I always want to be in that place. I always want to be in that refuge. I always want to be in that place of safety. I always want to be secure. And most in these times, there are, there are moments that I feel um, uncertain and going, okay, 
Today is a new day. Praise the Lord. Got up, did my devotions, worked on my message for next Sunday, um, and ready to move on through that this, throughout this week. And uh, so now I'm, I've got a, a momentum. And so as we move through this week, through what God has for us, do we look at the things in, that we are concerned about or do we pray about them? We look at them and then we place them in God's hands and we say, God, you have them. Because this verse in Lamentation 3, 5, 7 says, yes, you come when I called you, you told me, do not fear. We say, God, here they are. I'm worried about them. I'm, I have fear and trepidation. I'm giving them to you. Here they are. Good morning, Wanda. And so there they are. And uh, so I'm just like, okay, God, you're in control. Just like uh, Abby and Gloria when they're little and they're having their nightmares. They found their refuge in praise and worship, in prayer, and their fear was given to God. Our fear needs to be given to God. Our refuge needs to be given to God. And that will help us get through everything that's taking place right now. You're in your house. It can become a refuge. It can be a place of safety. It can be a place where you can say, I'm here. And nobody can tell you you can't put on praise and worship. Well, maybe the person you're living with. But uh, that's why you have headphones. <laughs> Every night lately, I've gone to bed um, and put a stocking cap on. I have these other pair of headphones that are really small that fits right in my ear. And I put on uh, praise and worship and I go to sleep. And so... Uh, And I go to sleep. And so uh, that is that is what's happening. So praise and worship helps me go to sleep. And so that's... Uh, and yes, we'll pray for wisdom uh, for you, Allison, from others. <laughs> and... Uh, so just to go, as, as you think about that, Lamentations 3, 5, 7, I found my notebook, praise the Lord. So you can write this out. I was praying that if God wanted me to share, for more, share more for you, to you today, um, write this verse out. Lest you come, yes, you come when I am called. You told me, do not fear. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. And, uh, Okay, pray for Aunt Chris, pray for uh, Allison, put out this prayer request, pray for wisdom from others and a new way or open doors, uh, doors open, need a fast answer. And we need to pray for Jody. And uh, uh, last night, praise report, three people uh, received Christ at church. I'm so excited about that. And uh, that's why... We're doing what we're doing, um, even though our church service went down to 10 people, uh, recommendation, um, we're, as long as they uh, tell us, uh, recommend that we can't meet at all, we're still going to meet, because, you know, two or three are gathered in his name, we're going to put it together. Um, it's that important. I, I don't... I, it's what motivates, motivates me and the church, man. Um, just telling you, God is so good. And um, 
Pray for my dad. Pray for my mom. Pray for Carrie's mom and dad. Pray for Christian today. This is uh, Abby's boyfriend. He is traveling today. He is flying home. And so that is that is a big deal today. Um, he is traveling back to Alaska, which is, is, so he's traveling from Wichita to Alaska. And uh, just pray for safety for him. Um, uh, for me, I've been praying for him all night long. And this morning I got up at 3.30 and uh, just woke up and prayed for him even more. So um, a little concerned today for him. So, but this verse says, I called to the Lord and he came and got my fear. So I feel like I got to, he's been here almost two weeks. So I feel like I got a new son here. So anyways, so let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that, Lord, that you're in control. And, Lord, I do pray for uh, Allison and this situation. I pray for wisdom uh, from others and a new way or a door opens. And, Lord, she needs to just answer fast. And, Lord God, you are able to do whatever in your will and your way. And uh, I pray... Uh, uh, for Aunt Chris, Lord Jesus, I pray that, Lord, that you touch her and, Lord God, that you just minister to her and take care of it. I pray for Jody today. I pray that, Lord God, that you continue to minister. Lord, I pray for Bruce. Lord God, what an amazing testimony we got from for him yesterday. But, Lord, we do pray that as they, whenever this procedure happens, that blood flow happens and it it's just continuous. And, Lord, I praise you that, Lord, it's going to work out. And Lord, I pray for my mom, that Lord, that you give her rest and uh, strength. I pray for my dad, that you heal him to complete. I pray for Gary Patton, that Lord, that you heal him. I pray for Cheryl, that you give her strength. Lord, I pray, especially for Christian today, Lord, as he travels from Wichita to Alaska, Lord God, that you, Lord, no problems. Lord, that as he travels and all his layovers, that Lord, with all this stuff that he has to go through, Lord God, that you just will protect him and that, Lord, that you will just make sure that he just makes everything perfect, that, that every layover, everything is just awesome. And, Lord, we thank you for that. And, Lord, we do praise you that, Lord, you're in control of all things. And, Lord, do your work. And, Lord, I do pray for every single person on, on this, uh, this devotional time. Lord, I pray that you bless them. And Lord God, we just honor you today. Lord, help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. Lord, help us as we settle in to, uh, if we're stuck at home, Lord, may this be our refuge. And Lord God, may we settle in in you. May we spend more time with you. May we press into you. May we pursue you. May we grow deeper with our relationship with you. But Lord God, if we have the opportunity, may we bless those around us. Uh, may we be a brighter testimony of your faith in us, Lord. Also, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody uh, today, Lord, in your name. Amen. All right. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Be blessed. Love you guys so much. And we'll have another devotion tomorrow morning at 6. Be blessed. Love you.